my name is Alyssa, and today we are reading Big Snowy Bear. Big Snowy Bear was never washed. Big Snowy Bear never brushed. Big Snowy Bear never took a bath. Big Snowy Bear was followed by a big snowy stink wherever he went. Flies buzzed all around him, but they were the only ones that ever came close. When the animals in the forest got a whiff of Big Smelly Bear, they ran away as quickly as they could. None of this seemed to bother Big Smelly Bear, but sometimes he did think it would be nice to have a friend. Then one morning, everything changed. Big Smelly Bear woke up with the most terrible itch. He tried to scratch his back with his paw but he couldn't reach. He tried rolling on the ground in the dirt. That didn't stop itching either. Big Snag Bear was itchier and dustier than ever. And I have my dog here if you haven't noticed. He's gonna stay up here and press on him. He tried scratching his back with a tree branch, but that made the itch even itchier. He tried rubbing his back against the trunk of an old tree, but that didn't help at all. I would scratch your back for you, a voice said a voice from above, but you're much too smelly. Big Smelly Bear looked up and saw a big fluffy bear sitting in some branches. Big fluffy bear smelled that big smelly bear. Why don't you take a bath? asked big fluffy bear. Then you wouldn't itch or smell. Cause I don't need a bath, replied big smelly bear. Yes, you do, said Big Fluffy Bear. No, I don't, said Big Smelly Bear. Yes, you do, growled Big Fluffy Bear. No, I do not, growled Big Smelly Bear back. Yes, you do, cried Big Fluffy Bear. No, I do not, shouted Big Smelly Bear. Who do you think's right? I think Big Fluffy Bear is right. Yes, you do, shouted Big Fluffy Bear, because you stink. Both bears sat quietly for a minute. Then Big Smelly Bear sighed a big sigh. Oh, all right, he said. Then he stomped off grumpily down the hill to the pond. When Big Smelly Bear got out of the pond, he shook the water from his big body. Big Fluffy Bear jumped down from a tree and sniffed. There, she said, that's much better. Now he's small, all clean, and she scratched his back for him. The itch was gone. Big Smelly Bear sighed. Thank you, he said, and he gave Big Fluffy Bear's back a little scratch, too. I'm not going to take any more baths, said Big Smelly Bear. Big Fluffy Bear smiled, and the two big bears had a little bear hug. Big Smelly Bear liked Big Fluffy Bear very much, even though he said he would never bathe again. Sometimes, late at night, he would wander down to the big pond, and can you guess what he was doing? I think he's taking a bath. The end. I hope you like this book. Can join me tomorrow for Sally and the Purple Socks.